Did you know that disciples are made, not born? Well, stay tuned. Welcome to this episode of Keeping Faith, Hope, and Love Alive. I'm Paul, and this is Paula Krosky. Jesus says this in, uh, in Matthew. He says, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, <laughs> baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Well, tonight joining us, we have Matt Bellis, who um, is going to talk to us about discipleship. So, Matt, welcome. Thank welcome. you. Yeah, good to be here. Mm -hmm. Well, good to have you. All right. So we're going to get started. Matt, if you would, what I always do, just you could tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. Well, yeah, my name's Matthew Bellis. Um, right now I'm living in California, but from 2017 to 2020, I went to church here at Richmond Heights Christian Assembly and was the worship director here as well. And um, so, yeah, right now I'm going to school for ministry, getting a master's of divinity degree for ministry, studying the Bible, just mm -hmm. learning a lot of that. And uh, in California at SUM Bible College. And so uh, then working there as well. So, yeah, and continuing to do uh, worship ministry there Amen. as well. Amen. Yeah. Utilizing your God-given gifts. Amen. Amen. Now, you wanted to share about discipleship. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I think um, discipleship is, is really important. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like, uh, you know, you're molded and shaped by uh the things around you, the people around mm -hmm. you, your family, your friends, mm -hmm. and um, even more than that, even um, media, the things you listen mm -hmm. to, take in. I think uh, all those things uh, just go into making you a little bit who you are. Mm -hmm. And so I know for me, just doing worship ministry, uh, still doing it to this point, uh, a lot of what has shaped me has been other people, okay. but specifically believers mm -hmm. in the faith. Yeah. Um, I know one of those being, for example, Pastor Allen here at this church. Okay. Uh, he's had a big part in just uh, in calling out uh, the gifts in me yeah. um, that he was able to see. Mm -hmm. And so I think um, having someone like that who's able to see the gifts uh, that God has given you mm -hmm. and just being able to call that out of you is really important. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, you know, you really get that specifically with other believers right. by being in the church. And um, just for me, I think it was also being involved in the church, like mm -hmm. being plugged in and serving um, and outside of Sunday okay. really enabled me to build relationships, like always have opportunity to have relationships with other believers mm -hmm. who were plugged in at that church. So, um, so yeah, I think that's really, it's a really important thing mm -hmm. about discipleship is uh, that relationship mm -hmm. and spending time. And so I think since I was, you know, in the church, I was able to spend time with Pastor Allen mm -hmm. and different ones, build that relationship, and then through that sort of be discipled and shaped. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, what about and from discipleship, from the standpoint of you being the disciple, or have have you, um, like, kind of has God shown you like someone or some people that you be able to pour into? Yeah, I think um, sort of even in the same way I've been discipled, I've had opportunity to be involved in other people's lives, mm -hmm. especially people who do worship ministry. Mm -hmm. I think there's been opportunity there for me to just build relationship with mm -hmm. other people who are part of my worship team mm -hmm. and uh, just invest in them. And I think a big part of discipleship for me is doing life, um, like being just doing life with other people and them seeing you for who you are mm -hmm. and seeing you on a Sunday in your ministry, but also seeing you at other times and mm -hmm. just you're even a little bit modeling for other people um, because the things you've learned, you sort of display and other people learn that through, I think, 
like seeing your life, seeing your heart, mm -hmm. your passion for the yeah. Lord. Yeah. Other people learn that passion for the Lord and or even just like for me seeing maybe how patient someone was uh, in dealing with somebody mm -hmm. or how gracious someone was. And that makes that's sort of a model for me that, oh, if I ever get in a situation, I can show love or I can, you know, show the love of Christ in this way. So I think yeah. that that's through like doing life with people and mm -hmm. just being involved in people's mm -hmm. lives. Yeah. So yeah, you're sharing some some powerful nuggets there in, in terms of discipleship. You talked about relationship, mm -hmm. and in the relationship, getting the affirmation or provoked in your gifting. Yeah. You talk about with Pastor Allen. Yes. Uh, also in relationship, you talked about doing life together. Mm -hmm. uh, so what would be a, another element or two that's that's important to you in terms of discipleship. Yeah, I think um, another area that I know I've been discipled that maybe can be possibly overlooked, mm -hmm. but can be even an opportunity is media now. I think okay. um, media, and you don't get through media necessarily that personal relationship, That's and, and nothing can replace that. I think that you need to have people spiritual parents in your life and brothers mm -hmm. and sisters in Christ. Mm -hmm. But I think for me, I really have been discipled by media. I think of some of the worship ministers that I listen to on a regular. Okay. And um, like I'll listen to an album by a gospel artist. And so many times a lot of those gospel artists are even pastors and they will have like biblical themes in their album. Mm -hmm. And I just find myself like that biblical theme maybe it's about Jesus or whatever it may be, just coming to life for me okay. and giving me like a new perspective, a new understanding of that biblical theme. Mm -hmm. and, and it almost takes the time that I spend in the secret place because nothing can really replace that. Right. Discipleship right. really is meant to complement that, mm -hmm. not replace that. But it really takes it and brings to life and just helps me encounter God in a new way. And teaches me, you know, I find uh, teaching to be, you know, just learning from other people. And so I find media, especially music for me, but mm -hmm. even TV, a lot of those things, I find myself discipled, I find myself learning new things through that. And so I think it's really important to just monitor, you know, who you're allowing to pour into your life, That's good. Um, yeah. even through media, mm -hmm. you, you know, because that does, you know, they're pouring into your life. Mm -hmm. so, Definitely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking about that just from the standpoint of, of the scripture, oh my goodness, where it talks about your eyes and, and what you see and the things that you hear. And then I know the Bible says, take the earnest heed of the things that you've heard, lest at any time you would let that slip. So I think that's definitely, I would agree with you, that's important. Mm -hmm. Who you're allowing to pour into your life, yeah. who you're allowing, to, what are you listening to, what are mm -hmm. you watching? Because that the eye gate, of course, as you know, is the, to your soul. So yes. that's definitely important. Yeah, and I think even to sort of bring that together, I think all I genuinely believe ultimately the Holy Spirit is really the one who mm -hmm. disciples us mm -hmm. through our entire life. Okay. And I think that He uses many of these things. You know, I mean, I believe the enemy can use things in our life to try to mm -hmm. get us off course. Right. But I believe the Holy Spirit uses people and media and all these things and so we're discipled by people but ultimately the one who's on the outside who's orchestrating all of that and using those things to shape you is the holy spirit mm -hmm. so I, I think that's part of just putting our faith in god is being very conscious of who's discipling us what are we uh who are the people who we give bring into our lives and allow to pour into our lives and god will use that mm -hmm. i think god will use you know people who believe in Christ and people who put their faith in God, you know, and so, yeah, the Holy Spirit ultimately, I think, is, you know, disciples us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now what would you or how would you um, encourage someone who maybe is looking to be discipled? I mean, mm -hmm. how do you, what's the word I want to say? Uh, I know because we talked about being careful who right. pours into your life. Yeah. How would you talk to someone 
um, to, you know, kind of point them in the right direction in terms sure. of being discipled? Sure, yeah. Um, well, I think a, a lot of those relationships can come about naturally mm -hmm. um, through just uh, first stepping out and make, you know, in, into a church, just finding maybe a church, a, a group of believers mm -hmm. that you can uh, just continually be um, connecting with is, and, and I think that'll really provide an opportunity mm -hmm. or a place where those connections can take place. Mm -hmm. And, um, and, and it's even possible if you know that someone, uh, you feel like you'd like to be discipled by them, you can vocalize this, you know, maybe ask them if they could get together with you or mm -hmm. just express you'd love to, uh, get together with them, maybe to ask them questions or just, if you get a free chance, ask them questions or, or just talk with them a little bit. Mm -hmm. And, but I think, um, you know, for, for people who that maybe that's more difficult for, right. it also can come about naturally, especially okay. through, um, especially I feel like when you get plugged into a church, maybe mm -hmm. your gifts, you find a, you're always looking for a place, maybe where could I serve? Maybe where could I get plugged in mm -hmm. with my gifts? That could even open up an opportunity for, um, other people who have those gifts maybe to see that for you to connect with them mm -hmm. and um, so I think that's that's a big part as okay. far as relationally I yeah, feel. Definitely. Wow. Okay. yeah because I know you shared about how um, Pastor Allen has kind of spoken into your life and kind of brought because he probably has that gift of kind of drawing out and and sharing with people um, you know, what, what your gifts are. Right. So what about someone who may be somewhere or attending a particular congregation or what have you that their leaders may not be that type of person? What, mm. what, what do you recommend they do? Yeah. Um, that's a good question. I mean, I know that I've had different types of people who have mm -hmm. discipled me, okay. um, for even, it's convenient, but my dad, you mm -hmm. know, my dad is someone I can always ask questions. Um, I can always, if I have a question about the Bible or life or anything, my dad, my mom disciples me as well in a different way. And, and I think, you know, it's a blessing that my biological parents are also sort of my spiritual parents mm -hmm. as well. But you don't have to, it doesn't have to be that way, I okay. believe, you know. And, and, and if there's something that, you know, you know is valuable, it's definitely important to pray, I think, pray for um, people in your life who just, who you can look up to, okay. have mm -hmm. that relationship mm -hmm. with, people who are just brothers and sisters doing life with you, mm -hmm. people who you can pour into, who you can be an example okay. to. I think, um, you know, that that's, can be overlooked as well, just having yeah. people who you can be an example mm -hmm. to. So there's so many, I think there's so many different opportunities yeah. for discipleship and yeah. it doesn't have to necessarily look a certain way where, oh, right. they have to be a pastor who can do this or that. Could be anyone, you know. It could just be someone serving on the tech team or maybe it's just anything. So many possibilities. Wow. Wow. Okay. That is good. That is good. Well, what I'd like, um, Matt, anything else you want to share, encourage, to, to someone that's watching, um, that's, you know, yearning for discipleship? Mm. Yeah, just, um, just keep, I would say just keep praying um, and, and seeking the Lord. And, and just know every season, you know, I've, there's going to be different people in your life. Mm -hmm. um, right now, I'm majority being discipled by a different pastor at this church okay. I've gotten plugged into. And uh, there's been different people in my lives. But at the same time, um, like my parents and some close friends who I have are people that I know I can always reach out to. And so just um, always praying uh, that God will bring those relationships, mm -hmm. but then taking, doing your part as part of that faith of just putting yourself out there, you know, mm -hmm. in, in a community of believers. And, and just, you know, if there's a, a Bible study they do, just go to that. If there's um, maybe an adult group that they do, you know, to get together, go into that. And okay. so every, the more, op, the more you put yourself out there, I think mm -hmm. the more opportunities to just build relationship mm -hmm. with people and, um, you know, and God can use that mm -hmm. to 
bring those relationships, those people. Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely, you know, praying and just having the desire is, is already, you know, shows God will, you know, he'll come through. He'll provide Amen. that. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Sounds good. Well, what I would love right now, Matt, is if you could pray uh, for those that are watching. Just okay. Lead us in a time of prayer. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Lord, we just thank you for this time, Lord, and just thank you for the gift of discipleship, yes, Lord, yes. and you've called us as well as we mm -hmm. grow in our faith yes. um, to even make disciples, Lord, to be looking for other people who we can be examples to, Lord, and, and maybe it's through even through media, through Facebook and, mm -hmm. and different things like that, that even not just personal relationships, but other ways that you may provide platforms, Lord. But whoever it is that's in our life, Lord, that we can disciple. But Lord, we just pray that you would help us to just know how important it is that we're being discipled, Lord. Mm -hmm. And to always guard our hearts and minds, mm -hmm. knowing that, Lord, um, we always need to be conscious of what we're taking in, who we're listening to, who we're allowing to speak into our lives, Lord. And even if we think it doesn't really mean that much, Lord, we know that everything we listen to and take in is, is important to, mm -hmm. um, to you, Lord. And so we're temples of the Holy Spirit. So may we be seeking out um, musicians, uh, worship leaders, uh, pastors, friends, um, spiritual mothers and fathers who can speak your word and, and your truth into our life yes. so that we can be equipped, Lord, to speak that into other people's lives and, and just continue to grow in our own faith, Lord. And so... Thank you for that. We pray that you would grow us and mm -hmm. enable us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank, Thank you, man. Thank yes. you. Well, that's it. Our time is oh, our time is up for this episode. Uh, but we, we thank you. We thank Matt for joining us today and my husband, Paul. Um, so if you would, please join us next time for keeping Keep faith. faith Hope, Hope and, and love, love alive. alive. Thanks so much. God bless. Bye-bye.